Lamar Jackson has really developed as a passer and has a much better understanding of the offense now. Despite some key players leaving, he's going to elevate everyone's game around him. Imagine a strong defense paired with Lamar Jackson, Zay Flowers, and your new offensive coordinator. Now add Derrick Henry in the backfield. Lamar doesn't have to do it all by himself anymore. Just hand the ball to the powerhouse and let him bulldoze forward. I'm diving right into the Baltimore Ravens because they've had an amazing offseason so far. They're only getting better. Their offensive additions are impressive and could make them even stronger than last year, which is saying a lot. Even though they lost some players on defense, their replacements might be just as good, if not better. This could give the Ravens another shot at the Super Bowl, just like last year. Before I get into why I believe this, if you love Baltimore Ravens content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates this offseason. Back to the Ravens. Last season, they nearly made it to the Super Bowl, but fell short in the NFC Championship game against the Kansas City Chiefs. They didn't play at their best and made a few costly mistakes, which ultimately kept them from winning. Even though the Ravens looked like they might make a comeback at the end of the game, they ultimately fell short. Now, they can't change the past, so they had to focus on the offseason to ensure they improve and don't face the same disappointment next season. And I believe they've made some key additions to help with that. The first major addition was on offense, and it's arguably the biggest move any NFL team made this offseason. The acquisition of Derrick Henry, one of the best running backs of all time. The Ravens have always been known for their strong running game, mainly because of Lamar Jackson. Defenses can never fully focus on the running back because Lamar might take off and run himself, making the Ravens' run game incredibly versatile. This versatility has kept them among the top rushing teams for the past few years, even without a star running back. Adding Derrick Henry, an elite running back, could change everything for this team. Despite his age, Henry continues to produce impressive numbers year after year. I believe his performance will only improve with the Ravens. In Tennessee, he had to carry the load alone, often running behind a poor offensive line. Even under those conditions, he still put up great stats. With the support he'll have in Baltimore, his impact could be even greater. I can't wait to see what Derrick Henry will do behind the Baltimore Ravens' offensive line, especially since defenses also have to worry about Lamar Jackson. If I had to bet on the team with the number one rushing attack in the league, it would definitely be the Ravens. Plus, they'll have Keaton Mitchell back from his injury. We all saw the flashes of brilliance he showed in his rookie season. Keaton Mitchell went under the radar as an undrafted free agent, but he started getting more playing time as the season progressed. When he was on the field, he was explosive, making big play after big play. He's the perfect complement to Derrick Henry. While Henry will get most of the touches, Mitchell can come in for 5 to 10 carries a game and deliver those big, exciting runs. Last year, he averaged an incredible 8.4 yards per carry. And with Henry as the primary back, that number could even go up. Honestly, the Ravens could probably run the ball almost every play and still score a lot of points. But what makes this offense even more exciting is that they can also pass effectively. Lamar Jackson has improved as a passer every year, and I expect that trend to continue. Last season, Todd Munkin introduced a new offensive style to Baltimore, which included more passing. Lamar Jackson thrived in that system. This made it much harder for defenses to adjust and stop the Ravens. They never knew whether the Ravens were going to run or pass, and had to be ready for both since the team excelled at both. I think this trend will continue, if not improve. At the receiver position, you have Zay Flowers, who had an outstanding rookie season. I expect him to keep getting better. Alongside him, you have a deep group of players ready to contribute. This includes Rashad Bateman, this year's draft pick, Devontae Walker, and free agency addition, Deontay Hardy. 
There's even the potential for Malik Cunningham to switch to receiver, which could be an interesting development. While the receiving core may not have any superstar talent, they are deep and versatile. With Mark Andrews and Isaiah likely at the tight end position, you don't need too many great receivers. Both tight ends are elite receiving threats who can shoulder a lot of the load. Altogether, the Ravens have plenty of weapons, and I would easily bet that this offense will be a top five unit in the NFL. Pairing a top five offense with a strong defense makes the Ravens a formidable team. On defense, they did lose some players, most notably Patrick Queen at linebacker. However, they also added talent through free agency and the draft, which I think balances things out, if not makes the defense slightly better. Re-signing Justin Madubiki, who had an outstanding season as an interior defensive lineman, was one of the most important moves they made this offseason. I expect Justin Madubike to maintain his impressive production. It's rare for interior linemen to get as many sacks as he did, making him a powerful asset on the defensive line. Re-signing veteran Kyle Van Noy was a smart move, and you still have Odafe Owa, who has a lot of potential. Michael Pierce remains a strong player, and David Ojabo also shows great promise. In the draft, the Ravens picked up Adisa Isaac, who I believe will surprise many with his immediate impact. This defensive line is poised to pressure quarterbacks at a very high level, making life tough for opposing offenses. Behind this defensive line, the linebacker room did lose Patrick Queen, but the Ravens have a perfect replacement in Trenton Simpson, drafted last year. I think Simpson was a steal in the third round of the 2023 draft, and he's going to prove it this year. He'll be joining Roquan Smith, one of the smartest linebackers in the game, who is the ideal mentor for a young player like Simpson. Together, Smith and Simpson will form a strong linebacker duo. With this combination of talent, the Ravens' front seven should be one of the best in the league. The Ravens might have the best front seven in the league. Adding to that, they also improved their already strong secondary, bringing this defense together beautifully. Marlon Humphrey, despite being a bit injury-prone, is an elite corner when he's on the field. Brandon Stevens and Arthur Mollet also played very well last year. Most importantly in the draft, the Ravens landed a steal with Nate Wiggins at the 30th overall pick. He should not have been available that late, given his athleticism and impressive tape. Wiggins looks like he's going to be elite right away. Although he's a bit smaller and not the best tackler, his main job is to cover, and he excels at that. Wiggins will help make this secondary elite. Adding him to a group that already includes one of the best safeties in football, Kyle Hamilton and Marcus Williams, even though they lost Geno Stone, boosts their strength. With an elite defense paired with an offense that I believe will be even better than last year, this team is a true contender. As I mentioned at the beginning, the Ravens will be extremely tough to play against.